Hello and welcome back to the tutorials with MATLAB and Thermodynamics. My name is Manuel Ramsay and I'm working for the University of Ravensburg Weingarten. And in this video I will show you how to make to implement the code into GUIDE. Um, we did in the last video the basic functionality of GUIDE and the layout. And in this case we want to script the program that it, that it works correctly. So as I showed you last time, if we run the automatically generated code by guide. We have here the figure and we can press the button, change the radio buttons and input different numbers here, but they don't affect the axis here. The axis is formatted not of my acting because, uh, but because of a standard dice parameter set um, in the guide section. So this numbers has nothing to do with our functions. Okay, we have this gener uh, automatically generated code, and in this code we will we want to search the section where the push button will get pressed. In this case, we see here push button, and I think that's the only push button. So under here we have um, we have the section where we want to put our code. <coughs> and therefore, we want to start right here. And as a basis, we take our tutorial free, where we copy the complete content from here to there under the section of push button. So the code is in here and we have CLC and clear all. Clear all in this case, we don't want to execute because clear all clears all the variables in the handles. So all what this does will get cleared and that's not what we want to do. If I run that now, I can press the button and the calculation will get through and it would be like the same um, as tutorial free. But in this case, we want to take our functionality as proposed in the last video into it. So we want to take the radio buttons and make a decision if we have a 3D plotting or a 2D plotting and then of course execute the plotting. Why can I not connect these two? Okay, good. Now, at the end, I have here a 2D plot area and I have a 3D mesh area. And the differentiation should happen before the 3D mesh area. And I need the value of uh, the plotting, um, the value of the radio buttons. So if you remember, we have our figure here. So these radio buttons have a value. If you double click that and search for value, V like value, then you have a 1.0 if it's activated and a 0, 0.0 if it's deactivated. So you take this value to be your variable. Okay. So you define a variable like this. Plotting is equal to, and now you have to get the value. And that that uh, is a certain syntax, get handles dot, now you have to name the, the handle. This one was called rb, and this hyphen, and 3d. Now you have to put in a comma and in string format you say what you want from, from it. So in this case you want the value like that and this should be it. So the value is a double formatted variable and will get put into the plotting variable we created just here. Okay, now I can make an if selection. If plotting equals be sure that you put two equals in here, equals one, we want to mesh. And before the mesh command, we want to just point at the axis. Axis in this case is handles dot plot. So it points into the axis and plots there. What you want to plot in this case, the 3D mesh. And we will just make a we will just comment that out for a moment. 
and see if that happens. Okay, function misplaced. Okay, I have to put an end after an if sentence, right? Now I have that here. First, I want to do nothing, and it does nothing, but tells me that plotting is zero. Now I want to plot, and that works. Okay. This uh, parameter has no influence on the plotting, and it shouldn't have. Then it's working as well. Good. Let's incl include the 2D plotting. We do that just the same way um, as the 3D plotting. We also do something like that. In this case it's not 3D but 2D. And we will get the value of plotting for that. So either one has to be zero. If plotting is zero here, it can be zero here. Okay. It cannot be zero here. So if plotting is zero here, and it will get, it, it cannot be zero here. So it must be here one. So plotting must be one if there's a zero in here, because the zero will not change anything in here, but will just point onto the end of the if section, and then again the uh, uh, the, the asking for is plotting with two D maybe one? Well, it is. And so if plotting equals one, then do that. And also access handles dot plot. And now plot in a 2D plot. The thing is we want to change this DI should be from the input window and not a separate input window. So we have to make another statement the i equals and now comes the point here we have strings right so what's in here this three is a string and it's not just a string as it says the name string in here but it is also a string from the data type so in this case you want to say uh, you want to convert a string to double so you type in str to double and you taking that from get from handles dot I think the I input was our name for it comma in this case you want to get the value for string okay okay the I is string to double from get handles from the handle the I input and from the handle the i input, I want to parameter string. This string gets to the double, and here is, where is uh, available as a variable in a double format. All right, then I need for sure an ending here after the statement, and I think that should be it. Save it and run it. That's fine. And that's fine. That concludes the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and come back later. Thanks.